the big problem with big data is that it's big in nearly every respect. And the amount of data that we're trying to ingest and make sense of is uh, frankly huge. And the amount of software that's involved to do anything useful with the data is also huge. Uh, like humans actually have to write this software. Uh, and you are talking about like having to write millions of lines of code before you actually get as far as running it on a bit of hardware. So one of the big problems that is limiting progress and innovation is the fact that if you're a mathematician or you're an engineer or scientist, a lot of your time might be spent uh, writing like really tedious and repetitive software. Uh, but if we move into an era instead where we are able to automatically generate a vast amount of this code, then we can literally reproduce ideas or test ideas in minutes, which previously would have taken many years uh, to develop. I think the real mission here is to unleash creativity. We need to be able to free up scientists and engineers to explore algorithms, explore new ideas, and they shouldn't be getting dragged into writing out every little detail in software. Where we're going here is uh, like when we develop software that actually is able to create software, then it becomes a more of a collaborative uh, relationship uh, with computing. This idea is genuinely disruptive. So where we are today is that what would have been like two years of hard work, we can now reproduce in a couple of seconds. And what we're really going to see in the years to come is to now integrate this with machine learning. So what's going to happen then is rather than your designer or your engineer or scientist getting bogged down on tedious implementation details, we start interacting with the computer and saying, well, this is what I want. This is the data I have. This is the outcome that I'm looking for. What is the perfect strategy? Generate the software for me. So what this can mean then is that your creator can have an idea and in an afternoon generate the software to do this. It can run it, evaluate the idea, and actually have a product by five o'clock. So it's exactly this collaboration between the creative human, uh, software that's able to write software, and machine learning that's going to change the world.